Don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment on this video saying I subscribed. Let's get into it. After formally clearing the Su-57 for export earlier this month, Russia has pitched their fifth-generation fighter jet to China. Viktor Kladov, the Director for International Cooperation and Regional Policy at Rostock has said, that China has recently taken delivery of 24 Su-35 fighter jets, and China will make a decision to either build the Su-35 in China, or to buy the Su-57 fifth-generation fighter jet. According to top experts, China is currently developing their own J-25 generation stealth fighter jet, but there is a possibility that the J-20 and Su-57 can coexist in the Chinese Air Force, because both the fighter jets serve fundamentally different operational roles. The intended role of the J-20 is to slip deep past sophisticated air defenses in order to target critical infrastructure, whereas the Su-57 is an air superiority platform that trades certain stealth features for unparalleled air combat potential. Defense analysts are rightly skeptical that the Chinese Air Force is interested in maintaining a regular Su-57 combat squadron. China is interested in the Su-57 for research and developmental purposes, and a deep dive into the Su-57's design and features, could provide the Chinese aerospace engineers with new insight to improve the J-20's design or production process. According to latest reports, the Indian Army has inducted the first six of the indigenously built Danish long-range artillery system, which will now add to its firepower, along the borders with Pakistan and China. Around 81% of the components are sourced indigenously, and the cost of one howitzer is 14.5 crore rupees. The Indian Army has ordered to produce 114 howitzers from the Ordnance Factory Board, and a subsequent order of 414 systems will be placed soon. Alexander Meksikwev, the managing co-director of the Brahmos Aerospace Company has said, that the range of Brahmos supersonic cruise system produced jointly by India and Russia, is planned to be increased to 500 km, from the present range of 400 km. He also added, that Brahmos currently flies at speeds of 2.8 Mach, and both the countries are working to achieve hypersonic speed through modernization, and will achieve a speed of more than 4.5 Mach. He also added, that the serial production of the Brahmos cruise system had started in March. The Indian Navy has restarted the process to build 12 mine countermeasure vessels at the Goa shipyard, and the $5 billion project needs a global partner for technology transfer, and assist in setting up additional production infrastructure at the shipyard. Russian and Italian shipyards responded to the expression of interest issued by the Indian Navy on 21 March 2018, and this is the third attempt in the last 14 years to acquire technology for the indigenous development of minesweepers. India has asked the United States if American personnel were present at Pakistani bases, from where F-16 fighter jets were deployed on 27 February. Under the end user conditions agreed between the US and Pakistan, a detachment of American military personnel has to be present at each of the bases where the F-16 fighters are stationed, to oversee their actual usage and deployments. While the US had not yet given a formal response, but according to sources, the Pakistani military had asked all American personnel to leave the respective bases, as they were preparing for forward deployment. According to latest reports, the Indian Coast Guard vessel ICGSP Ra would be commissioned on 15 April by the Indian Army Chief. It is the third in the series of the new generation of shore patrol vessels, and the ship would be under the administrative and operational command of the Eastern Headquarter of the Indian Coast Guard. The ship is equipped with an ultra-modern navigation and communication system, and it has a range of 5,000 nautical miles with a speed up to 26 knots and the vessel has a complement of 12 officers and 91 men.